Hi, my name is Nurse C. Whether you're watching this on my channel or listening into my podcast, The Power of Care, this is the place for nurses who want to take charge of their careers. I'm here to share with you the tips, insights, and stories that will help you grow and thrive as a nurse. I am a registered nurse with over 10 years of experience in various settings, and I've created this channel to empower nurses to explore the uh, job opportunities. In this series, I'll share the different fields and sectors that nurses can work on, such as education, research, admin, entrepreneurship, or even more. I will also share my own journey and lessons learned along the way. Whether you are a new graduate, a seasoned nurse, or someone who is considering a career change, this channel and podcast is for you. I hope you'll join me in this journey of discovering how to empower your career. In this video, I'll cover the role of occupational health nurse, what they do, what education do you need, advantage and disadvantage, their salary in UK, US, expectations and opportunities for progression in this field. Occupational health nurses are registered nurses who specialize in preventing, treating work-related injuries and illness. They work with employers and employees to create a safe and healthy work environment. They also provide health education, counseling and wellness programs to promote the well-being of workers. To become an occupational health nurse, you'll need to have a bachelor's degree in nursing and a license as a registered nurse. You also need to have some experience in the general nursing practice. Some employers might require you to have additional certifications or qualifications in occupational health nursing, for example, such as the Certified Occupational Health Nurse C-O-H-N, which is the credential in the US uh, from the Amer American Board of Occupational Health Nurses or the Diploma in Occupational Health Nursing here in the UK. Some advantages of being an occupational health are that you can work in a variety of uh, settings such as factories, office, schools, hospitals, government agencies and even insurance. You can make a positive impact on the health and well-being of workers and their families. You can enjoy a flexible schedule and autonomy in your practice. You can earn a competitive salary and benefits. But there are some disadvantages of being an occupational nurse. For example, you may face challenges dealing with employers who do not prioritize worker safety and health. You may encounter ethical dilemmas in balancing the interests of workers and employers. You may have to deal with stressful and traumatic situations involving injury or ill workers. You also may have to keep up with changing regulations and standards in occupational health. So now, what about salaries? The salary of an occupational health nurse depends on many factors such as your education experience, location and employer. According to the US Bureau Label Statistics, the median annual wage for registered nurses in general was $7,000 in 2020. According with the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the minimum annual wage for professional health nurses was $75,000 in 2020. The top 10% earn more than $120,000. So the demand for occupational health nurses is expected to grow by 70% from 2019 to 2029, faster than the average of all occupations. According with payscale.com, the average salary for occupational health nurses in the UK is a little bit lower was 34,000 in 2021. The expectations for occupational health nurses are to provide high quality of care and service to workers and employers. They are expected to have strong communication, problem solving and leadership skills. They also expected to adhere to the ethical and professional standards and to maintain their competence through continuing education and training. The opportunities for career progression for occupational health nurses are diverse and rewarding. They can advance to a managerial or supervisory positions with their organizations or become consultants or educators in the field of occupational health. They can also pursue further education or specializations in areas such as management, infection control, ergonomics or wellness coaching. Additionally, you can pursue further education or certificates such as the Specialist Community Public Health Nurse Qualification to enhance your career prospects. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. You're not convinced by this job? looking to work from home and still maintaining patient contact, check our next video on telehealth nursing. Or if you're facing 
or if you like traveling, why not go back to cruise nursing? Thanks for watching, stay curious and keep learning.